Hey guys, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to talk about Apple MDM push certificate and how what is the Microsoft best practices uh, when setting up this certificate. So if you're looking to manage iOS devices, even macOS devices, you will need Apple push certificate in your Intune settings in order to manage those devices. So when you create a, a push certificate in Apple website, you want to make sure we recommend it or Microsoft recommended that you use the corporate Apple ID instead of your personal ID. And the uh, certificate require once a year or require renewal once a year. So remember to um, put in a reminder that your certificate is expired or otherwise um, if the certificate is expired, you won't be able to manage any iOS devices from Intune. So now let's get started. Um, I'm going to my Office 365 portal. I'm going to click on Admin. And under Admin, there should be, click on Show All. There should be a Device Management under Admin Center, Device Management. And in Device Management, you want to click on Devices. And then you want to click on iOS. You want to click on iOS Enrollment. So here's the location where you set up the Apple MDM push certificate. So what you need to do is click on Ap Apple MDM push certificate here. You will get this screen. Here's the step that you can follow. Step number one, you want to click on agree. That means you grant permissions, grant Microsoft permission to send both user device information to Apple. And the second step is you want to download your CSR. Click on download. It is now downloaded. I'm going to open up this folder. And it is, I'm going to copy this and put it in the temp folder. I'm going to put in a folder called certificate. I'm going to paste it here. So now step number two is complete. You want to go to step number three, which is create your MDM push certificate. This will take you to the Apple website. I guess I already log on to um, Apple website. So once you log on, you can click on create a certificate and just follow the terms and condition. I'm going to check the box here, yes, and click on accept. Create a new push certificate. You want to click on choose the file, the file that you just uploaded in step number two. And then click on Upload. So that's step number two. Oh, step number three. Let's take a look at the step number four. Step number four, you want to enter your Apple ID. And then step number five. 
actually I have to um, I have to download my Apple uh, certificate click on download shows files here the Apple certificate click on cut I'm going to put it back in the C certificate paste so that's step number three you create and you then you download and step number four you enter the email address of your Apple certificate and step number five you want to browse to your certificate I'm going to double click on it there it is so now it's ready to upload it is uploading it's thinking thinking there it is upload your MDM push certificate successfully created now as you can see status is active last update is 11 21 2019 and the expiration date is a year from now days until expiration so if you close that window and then click on it again the uh, green status the green checkbox is mean it's active and it's working so that's the process and Microsoft best practices when creating MDM push certificate for Apple devices. Thank you for watching and if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Office 365, SCCM, Intune and much more. Have a great day.